girlfriend. <laughs> Bub friend, Bert, Melissa. Asking you to marry me has been the easiest decision of my life. <laughs> Hello. Wow, you look amazing. <laughs> it's a great dress. You like it? Yes. Over the last five years, I've gotten to know you better than anyone. I know your sarcastic sense of humor and your brutal honesty. I know when you've had a rough day and you need to play video games until 2 a.m. Looking back at our five years together, I only see great memories. Times we've laughed together with each other, at each other, times where we've shared awkward and embarrassing moments, experienced the world, experienced food. I know your favorite foods and TV shows, and I tolerate them when they don't match up with mine. I know the songs you love to play on the guitar, and I happily fall asleep to that almost every night. And experience each other in our best and worst moments. To say that time has flown would rob the subtle pieces of every day that we spent together. Waking up next to each other, getting ready to work together, eating dinner together, letting our dogs out together, everything together. I know your habits and routines, your favorite things, and the things that trouble you. But what I have been most grateful to know is your heart. The kind, generous, and loyal heart that you give only to me. To me, we're already married. We already experienced the world together and through each other's eyes. Today is just a, a day to show everybody else. The heart that would do anything for your family, your friends, or your dogs. Sean, every day you show me patience and understanding, and you make me want to be a better person. I've watched you grow. The person you are today, strong, determined, dedicated, successful, and driven all the characteristics of a woman I dreamed of marrying. The characteristics of a woman that I will cherish, respect, love, and grow old with. Melissa, you can set my line up. <laughs> and I'll answer the door when there's a creepy delivery man. <laughs> I'm feeling romantic, I'm feeling in love, and I'm so happy to be standing up here with you. I'm ready to continue moving forward and so ready to marry you. I love you, Bert. I love you, Melissa. And I've always loved you. Uh, if she says you're drunk and it's time to go, Sean, it's probably time to go. <laughs> Uh, communication. I can't tell you how important that is. Communicate, guys. That's is the biggest emphasis on a relationship. You want to make it work, communicate. I know that everybody can agree tonight that a perfect match has been made here between the two of you. And quite honestly, Sean won the jackpot with Melissa because she's a total babe. So congratulations to the both of you. I know you've got it made, you've got it set, you have it in the bag, and I'm just so glad to be here tonight celebrating you too. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Brothers. There's a ton more reasons of why I could stand up here and talk to you about Sean and Melissa and why they're perfect. Jess, Joe, and Brian hit a lot of those points already. I just wanted to pull a few subjects under a microscope for y'all. But I've known Sean for a long time and I can honestly say he's the most loyal stand-up dude I've known for a very long time. And that's because he's like me. Sean, Melissa, friends and family, by the power of your love and commitment and the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss each other.
daydreaming, imagining herself as the extrovert that she is not. She goes over and over little events in her life, reliving her successes and suffering through her failures. All 